In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the data source of a repeating group with a workflow. A lot of times you'll set up your repeating groups uh, with a default data source here so that uh, if values change in constraints or just in the database in general, this list will automatically update. But maybe if you want more control over the timing of those updates, we can make it happen in a workflow off of a button click specifically um, so that we can control that a bit more. So for example, usually you'll set up your repeating group like this where you have a default data source, I have a search for users, um, and I have a single constraint here where the company needs to equal the value of this dropdown. And this dropdown is just a list of my companies. So to start, uh, I'm going to refresh this page here and show you what that looks like. So this is just going to list all of my uh, users in my system. Uh, because I do not have a company selected yet. These are my companies. If I click on one, then it'll automatically change that data source because now a constraint has been applied to it and it will just, it'll update automatically as I click through. But there are certainly cases where you don't want this to happen automatically. You might have multiple constraints that you want your users to select first before the repeating group updates itself. Okay, so how do you do that? I'm gonna add a button here, and I'm just going to call it update list. All right, this button is going to essentially replace the data source that's in here. So what I'm going to do uh, with the default data source is clear this out. You actually don't need to have anything in here by default. That's actually not a required field. Um, what will happen if you leave it blank, of course, is that you will not have a list of items at all. So at some point, you do need to trigger this action that I'm about to show you. So when this button is clicked, we're going to use this action here. It's an element action, display list. Essentially what display list does is it sets a new data source for a repeating group. So you'll select the repeating group that you want. You might have multiples in, on your page, so it'll give you a list there to choose from. And then the data source is going to be what I had in there before, basically, which is a search for users um, where the company equals the value of the dropdown. Okay, so now I can allow the list to update only when I click that button. So let's preview that here. Okay, so by default, I have nothing in my list, but if I choose one of my companies, again, see how I've made the selection, this has not changed yet, I'm gonna now click the button and it will display that list for me. I can change the company again, and only until I click the button one more time will it then display that. Right, so this will give you a little bit more control and your users more control over how elements on the page behave and the timing of everything. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching.